Hello everyone, and welcome. My name is Adam. I am the lead game designer on the Godforge project here at Plarium, and today I'm going to be answering your questions and responding to your feedback. So let's dive right in. The first question is, why are you making a raid clone? Well, as the people who invented the genre of hero collector turn-based RPGs, it is our God-given right to have exclusive rights to this genre, which is why we're making another one to expand on our monopoly. No one has ever, in the history of gaming, ever made a turn-based hero collector RPG before, so we think it's time that another one enters the market. Next question. How pay-to-win is the game going to be? Well, it's going to be extremely pay-to-win, okay? What do you want us to do? We're running a business here, all right? If you don't have the champions, you better pull out your wallet, swipe that credit card, and buy some shards, all right? Sorry, that's just the way it's gonna be. If you wanna win, you better pony up. Once the game's been out for three or four years, if you're a new player coming in, <laughs> there's no way you're catching up, unless you swipe that credit card and give us your money. Next question. Oh, sorry, this is more feedback than a question. I'm not particularly fond of the camera angle. Well, you know what? You can go f yourself. Next question. It says, I think it would be cool if we added pets to the game. I do think that would be cool, but unfortunately here at Plarium, we're not fond of innovating at all whatsoever. The best way we find to make new content is to copy and paste old content over and over again, make it look exactly the same, only we sprinkle a little bit of extra flavor on top. Unfortunately, that flavor is shit flavor, so all of our new game modes are shit. Next question. How will we balance the ultimates in our game? Well, that's a great question, and the answer is we won't. We will have champions in the game who are deliberately way overpowered and we're going to make them extremely difficult and exclusive to obtain that way if you want to get the best champions you're going to have to pay a lot of money on summoning shards so you can get those champions for yourself and that is how you will in fact be better at the game than other players oh and also if we accidentally make a champion who is accessible to most people way too overpowered then we will balance those heroes we can't have everybody doing well in the game only the people who pay us lots of money the next question asks, how difficult will it be to unlock reliquaries? Well, the thing about reliquaries is we thought they were too interesting and too innovative in this space. So what we decided to do was we actually took them out of the game. Because again, we can't go innovating because if we keep innovating, then it becomes harder and harder to outdo ourselves. We have to actually think and become creative when it comes to making new content. And because the reliquary system was a very unique and interesting way for the community to interact and engage with one another, one another. Uh, we just decided to take it out. Um, yeah, we're not going to have reliquaries after all. Don't worry. We thought it would be too complicated, um, too confusing, and just too interesting, if I'm being honest. So, next question. They ask, will there be any way for me to play the game all day? Yes, we do have a, a mechanic like that. Uh, it's called energy. Once you've spent it all and you run out, what you can do is buy more energy. And then when that energy runs out, you can spend money to get more energy, and then you can keep playing. It's that simple. You can play for as long as you want, all day, every day. It's actually a great, super player-friendly uh, system that we have in place, and that's the only thing we're planning to do in the game. Again, we're not really fan fond of innovating. We're just going to stick with the energy thing, and that's going to be all. And the last piece of feedback we have to respond to says, Godforge will fail. You know what? you was this jay giggs did he write that somebody find out if jay giggs wrote that you know what that guy i'm out i'm not doing this anymore you just i can't